Welcome everyone to the fourth video of my EU4 Wealth and Nations Let's Play. So in the last video I made peace with Munster and Bremen. I actually annexed Bremen and took a coastal territory off Munster. I've also now rivaled Denmark and I'm making a claim on one of the territories. I'm hoping that we can get into a coalition war against them very shortly. Uh, speaking of which uh, let's right. I can't do that until next month, so 16th. Uh, this is the current state of Europe. Burgundy was uh, inherited in the last video. It looks as if Muscovy might be quite weak in this game. France hasn't uh, got quite a bit of integration to do, but uh, yeah, Denmark took a ton of territory over there. Right, so I'm gonna wait, I think, until my war exhaustion goes down a bit before coring my provinces. I'm not sure if I'm going to use harsh treatment on Stad yet. It would be quite expensive. I can actually upgrade my military very soon. Uh, put the time down for a second. Just so I get my bearings and then I'll put it back up. Uh, right, so they're going there and coming back. Where's my fleet to? I can increase my fleet a bit, I think, at the moment. I'm currently over my. Um, Limit there. I'm gonna stick my army maintenance down as well. I don't need it on anymore. Right. Oldenburg. That's right. Oh, my army's gone off to Stad. So this was six odd. It's gone down a bit. Mecklenburg. It's no longer a valid rival. So we have to uh, choose someone else. Right, this coalition of forming against me is um, there's three members in it now, so they can get the punitive war uh, coalition CB or super bad boy CB it used to be called. Uh, right, so I think all my military's there, is it? Oh, there's a bit more coming there. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade this in a second. I'm trying to figure out what I was doing there. Oh, missions we got as well. Integrate Stad, nice, I'll take that. Reclaim the Holy City, that's, um... Wow. Getting that already. Not sure when that runs out, maybe it runs out quite early on. Uh, Crusades kind of ended by about this time in history, didn't it? Right. They can uh, group up and protect trade. I'll look back. Right, so wait a month. Okay, Munster might get uh, eaten up here a bit. Do I have s claims on them actually? Right, so let's take that military tech. I think I have a cardinal, so that's going to reduce it by 1%. Right, so some pretty nice bonuses there. Okay, so I can increase my, well, I can make an army now, actually, and I can't change a troop type quite yet. Uh, so I'm going to make an army in Hamburg and Lübeck, I think, since that's where most of my troops have been built. Um, why can't I? Oh, I don't have enough military power. Right, I'm going to have to wait on that. They've changed the buildings around, actually, as well, in the most recent patch. So armories don't quite do what they used to do. Um... Local recruitment time. Yeah, the cost is gone from them. Um, lots the, There's tax as well on some of the admin buildings. But uh, they've all had, well, some of these have had small changes. Quite a few of them, actually. Get the time back up. Denmark sent a warning to Pomerania. I know what I've forgotten about. I forgot to join a coalition against them. So I'm going to get that back from Brandenburg. Join coalition. Sadly this coalition against Denmark doesn't look as if it's going to be as big as I was hoping. But uh, three is enough to kick it off. So if Poland kicked it off, who would I ally to? Pomerania. That's not exactly that strong an alliance. Sweden is still allied to them. Bohemia is allied to them. 
I'm not sure I want to kick this off, to be honest. If I declared war against them, um, who would join in? Poland's allied to me anyway. This is a... W oh, uh, I don't have a CB, do I? That's why it's causing that. I think it causes aggressive expansion sometimes, even when you have a CB, which is a feature I don't like in this patch. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I want Poland starting a war there yet, then unless some others join in the coalition, or they get stronger allies. Maybe I should try and get an alliance with France or England or someone. Um, I've got Spear. Diplomat, do I have an eye? Uh, so let's... I need to uh, prove some relations, I think. I'll prove relations with France. Then I'll start to work on getting rid of some of my coalition members. Okay. Coalition CB. Now, in a coalition war, you can only take territory, I believe, uh, that you have a claim on. So it's pretty important to make claims. A lot of claims as well if you're getting into it. So I may make some more claims after this is finished, but that's risking causing more aggressive expansion. So I have to be a bit careful with it. I'm not well over. Well, coalitions are forming against me already. Uh, right, I've got enough military power as well to make these uh, buildings. Let's do this. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned mercantilism. I don't think I have. It's very important. Uh, there's only a small amount of ways you can get it. it. Gives you extra provincial trade power modifier. So I definitely want to get this. I don't think there's any downsides to taking it these days. There used to be a trigger modifier. This one where it depended on mercantilism. If you had too much you couldn't get it. But that's no longer the case. So buildings. Uh, armory. So, uh, capital and Hamburg. I still need to make some more ships. I think, yeah, the next diplomatic idea will give me an extra relation slot, so that means uh, this will go. I'll go keep that alliance for the time being then. I could ask them for some of their trade power, some of my weaker allies. Right, I got caught. So that means probably coalitions going to form. A couple of the nations probably join. Denmark may even join. Right. I think I'm going to hold off and making more claims then. Uh, this would give me access to Norway potentially, so that's the key thing that I want. If Norway bro broke free, I would want a CB on. Right, so Diplomat's back. Um, so who's in the coalition? Mecklenburg, Friesland and Helra. I have any pronounce it. Um, Brunswick, like me, they like me. Madgeburg I probably need to work on. Pomerania I definitely need to work on. Work at Pomerania. Uh, are there any coalition against me? Might as well max that out. Uh, Austria? Vessels? got mercenaries currently. Should I get rid of some of that? Yeah, let's get rid of some because um, it's a bit costly. So one, two, get rid of two. Right. Ooh. Ah, right. I think the royal marriage must have happened. So Castile now has uh, personal unions over Naples and Aragon, so looks like uh, Castile or Spain's going to be pretty strong in this game. Lost a card, huh? 
That's not good. France of uh, rival Austria, my ally. Okay. Wouldn't mind if Denmark goes and try and tries to conquer someone else to create more aggressive expansion and get more into the coalition. I don't think anyone else is going to join it now, unless that happens. Do I have my full... I need to uh, embargo Denmark actually. I'll do that now. No, I don't have my full one. Friesland or Brunswick. I need. I should select one, but which one? So Friesland, uh, Oldenburg, and Utrecht. I think I'm actually going to pick Friesland. I, that would give me a border with Austria, which probably isn't a good thing, and they're Dutch, so I'd have to culture convert that if I took it. I'll take Friesland though, because they might run out. I think if I get any stronger, then I won't be able to have them as a rival anyway, so yeah, I'll take them. So... Okay. I'm losing three per year, but I'm gaining... I think there's a cap on long-term rivals, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not sure I could get much... I can maybe get 30 on that. Right, so Diplomat's back anyway. So let's embargo some people to raise my um, power projection. So it's 43. I've got 5 for Denmark. I'm really close now to getting a bonus for extra monarch points. That'd be amazing if I could get that. I probably can only get 1 from Friesland for embargoing them. I'll do it. So I need one more point to get that extra monarch bonus. Let's hopefully I can get it. I might be able to. Uh, Diplomat is back. They probably have to take territory to uh, declare war to definitely get it. Um, is there any chance of aligning to France? I definitely want an alliance with them at some point. I think I'll improve relations with Poland. Make sure I keep my allies. Oh, um, my. This is nearly run out. I'll start coring once that has saved my admin points. Maybe I could do it now. Maybe I should have done it before, but I might as well wait now. Right, two armies. Let's take. Making some ships in a minute as well. My grass expansion is going down now quite rapidly, probably, so I might be able to declare war in a bit. Probably be next video now, I think. Okay, so that's getting that unlocked one of my Hanseatic ideas. So I've got a bonus to global trade power, and I'm no longer losing double point slots. Uh, dip points to that. Uh, foreign plots. Lose stability or republican tradition. Now I don't want to lose republican tradition. I think I've mentioned probably this before. It's so important. So I'm going to take the lost stability. Currently my stability costs 182. You can see there lack of republican lack of republican tradition makes it cost a huge amount more. So I'm not going to be raising stability anytime soon. Even though I'm losing that there. Right. Your Republican tradition actually goes up a bit. Uh, power projection actually increases a bit, which is great. That's another reason to have uh, really good power projection. That went down by one, didn't it? So it doesn't look as if I'm going to be able to get 50 quite yet. Lost cattle. Right. Ok, 
Okay, so that's what coalition aggression looks like. It's best to work on the big players, I think. Try and get them low, that's the key thing. How are we doing here then? I might get that one back from Pomerania actually now. I actually want an alliance. Who are they allied to? Hmm, might do that in the future, but not now. Okay, so Diplomat's back. Magdeburg I should work on. Let's try and get some of my coalition members out, perhaps. I'm not going to be able to get Mecklenburg out. Um, who are these allied to? I'll work on these, I think. Who are Mecklenburg allied to, actually? I could use the coalition to my favour and potentially get into wars with uh, weak nations. But I'll, yeah, I'll get those out, I think. Uh, I'm just going to check the time in a second. Oops. Okay, I think it's time to increase my fleet a bit, actually. So I'm going to make some more ships. Uh, so I can have quite a few more now, probably. I'll make one there, one there, and one there. Has my... Right, this has run out and I completely forgot to call, which wasn't very clever. Right, so I'm going to uh, call there and there. Claims are both in place, so that's the absolute cheapest I could have got them for. Um, right. Why isn't my pause button working? Okay, I actually had to restart the game then. My spacebar on my keyboard wasn't working in the game for some reason. Uh, but it was working outside, so that was just really odd. Uh, but anyway, um, right, I'll um, pause if it's working, which it is. Great. Uh, so recall diplomat from Friesland, and I've completely forgot uh, forgotten what I was going to do. So let's get this back first, though. Anyway, uh, oh, um, I made some ships. Right. So where's this diplomat going? Can I get an alliance with France? Nowhere near to it. Um, yeah, Austria and France have borders now, so it's probably not good. Uh, so, where we improve relations? Poland, France. I'll do Magdeburg next, is it? Uh, I think so. Let's check my coalition's members actually, who's in that? Uh, Friesland, I've just been working on there. Mecklenburg, I probably can't get out. Uh, what about that Dutch nation there? Yeah, let's work on these guys. So, relations, improve relations, send. Uh, put the timer up. Okay. So, basically, just waiting for. Right, so, war with Brandenburg against Teuton Order came to an end. Brandenburg's probably gonna rival me at some point. They almost always do, so. Um. Especially now they're getting stronger. Okay. Mecklenburg entered alliance with Teuton Order. Teuton Order aren't as strong as they used to be now, though. Uh, looks like they lost Cologne, and that's it there. Right. What are they allied to? Just Magdeburg. Right. Not sure who I'm going for yet. Sad oh, unhappiness among clergy. Sadly I can't diplo annex uh, because I'm a merchant republic. Uh, they're not allowed to. Not allowed to have royal marriages either so um, you have to vassal up a nation through war otherwise I would diplo annex Oldenburg probably but I can't. Ooh, Teutonic Order entered a coalition against uh, Denmark. So there's four of us in that now. Increasing the chance that of war there. Uh, so unhappiness among the clergy. I'll take the loss of papal influence, I think, for prestige. Right. And I should think about making more claims on Denmark, maybe. 
have a look at that. Yeah. We'll track then to the coalition against us. Uh, right. Can probably get them out though. Okay, let's have a look at Denmark then. Right, so. Uh, Covert claims, actions even. Fabricate claim. Which one's the lowest? So Finn's there. Holstein, there's a good chance that they'd be released in a war, in a punitive war, so maybe I wouldn't want to claim either of those territories. I could get their territory later on. Probably would want to go for the one at the least. Just 1.39 Lolland. Um, where is Lolland? Oh, there it is. Should I do that? I'll hold off a bit. Maybe. No, I'll go for it. Let's play risky. Okay. Right. Hopefully I don't get caught now. Right, do I have a s offensive spy advisor that would be useful? No. Theologian. Oh, that could be pretty good. Wouldn't have any revolt risk then. But I quite like the extra money from production, so I'll keep him. Tiny a revolt risk anyway. Ooh, wow. Ukraine. Looks like Hungary is having tons of problems. They've uh, lost Ukraine. Uh, right. Okay, so we've got a ton of boats. Uh, they can... There. Fleet. Group up there. Those. There, actually. Uh, let's hide some more then. So, uh, we can have four more, actually. Uh, right, so... One, two, three. And, um, four, I guess. Right. So pretty much up to force limits now. Or will we? Lost the cardinal. Now, I lost ten papal influence for that earlier event, didn't I? So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to win that race now. Okay, group up. And go back on protect trade and look back. Right. Peasants in Mecklenburg, so they're not doing too well. Okay, how long we got left? Croatia are independent. Hungary's uh, not doing too well then. Hungary has lost its ability for um, increased coring costs. There used to be 100% more to core their territory. I'm uh, glad they took that out actually because Hungary, well, they didn't exist I think after the Ottomans conquered them. Or nearly didn't exist. So they were certainly a territory or country that lost a lot of territory in uh, this time frame. Um, Alright, so diplomats coming back. Uh, diplomat arrived. So, I'll put in Utrecht. Right, actually, I could get some trade off some of my allies, so I should do that. So, who do I want to try on? Lüneburg and Oldenburg? Let's have a chat with these then. So, this is a new feature Transfer Trade Power. You can ask for the trade power, basically. And it looks like they'll give me quite a bit. And I don't even think it damages relations if you do this either. In fact, I think it actually improves relations, strangely. Uh, so, yeah, let's do that. And it should come up on here in a minute. Uh, transfer trade power to... No, it doesn't say plus 10. So, yeah, improve relations, surprisingly. So, let's do it on these guys as well. Are they my ally? I think they are. Yeah. Okay, so transfer trade power. Uh, it does count 
as I think I mentioned it earlier in a war at some point, that it costs a relationship slot. So it's really good to do it with your weaker allies. And if you've got a spear slot free. Right. I think I've embargoed all my rivals, haven't I? Friesland, Denmark, maybe I haven't. Where's my other rival? Munster. Okay. Uh, oh, we're at truce, so I can't do that anyway. So that's in uh, 9th of July, 58. Oh, Diplomat's back. Let's uh, use that on Utrecht. Uh, Revelations there. Uh, claim Fabricate in Lolland, so I got lucky. Starting to think uh, I might even declare one Denmark myself. So Poland would join, and that's it. I don't think. Has the coalition gone? Novgorod. Oh, I, did I pick the wrong one there? De declare war. Yeah, coalition CB. So Poland would join. Is Poland got a union over Lithuania? Yes, they do. I'm going to keep on making claims against Denmark. If I could get their territory for 10% of normal, then I should. It would be absolutely massive if I could. If I could do that. So. Uh, which one? Fabricate claim. I'll do the cheapest one again. Which is 1.45. Uh, Mitt the island. Right, can group up. Protect trade in Lubeck. And um, to be honest, I've lost track of time, so I think I'm actually going to call it an end of the video here. Uh, so, next video, maybe a coalition war against Denmark. Uh, I'm going to make some more claims, I think, and then once, well, once I'm happy with uh, how many claims I've got, I might declare war myself on them. Or I might try and expand my empire somewhere else down here. We'll have to see. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.